It's no secret that I love working with rattlesnakes, from desert diamondbacks to my hometown canebrakes. But do these animals actually need protection? Let's find out. I've always been fascinated with these animals, but none more so than the eastern diamondback. And while out walking a recently burned pine stand, we came across a familiar face. Whoa! This here is the eastern diamondback rattlesnake, one of the largest rattlesnake species in the world. Now, here in the state of Mississippi, this is a heavily persecuted species, and they're actually quite rare. And today, I'm gonna to be talking about why this species should be classified as an endangered species. Now, we found this rattlesnake basking right outside of its burrow. This is how you're typically gonna see this species in the spring months. This one, decent sized little female, got a little bit of a shed going on here, as you can see. Right there, her eyes are blued over. Now, eastern diamondback rattlesnakes are a venomous species, and sometimes they're even classified as the world's deadliest rattlesnake. I'm not sure I subscribe to that notion, being as not many people run into these snakes on accident. The place that you're really gonna see these snakes the most are places in South Georgia and maybe some areas in Florida. But most of the time, outside of those areas, you're not gonna see this snake. They've actually been mostly extirpated from the state of Louisiana, North Carolina, and even South Carolina in many of their ranges. So that leaves Mississippi, Alabama, and other places on the edge of their range in a real state of distress. These snakes aren't that easy to find, and I don't run into that many. Now this isn't a full-grown eastern diamondback. However, this is an adult. This is pretty much a full-grown rattlesnake, depending on how much it's eaten throughout its life. But this snake can get to about eight feet long and about that thick around. Look at this thick as my thigh. Like they are just huge, huge beastly rattlesnakes. And this one's quite calm, quite chill demeanor. It's just an incredible snake to be seeing out here. Now, why would I say that this snake should be an endangered species? And the answer is very simple. Endangered species get protection. They get legal protection. They get areas that are preserved specifically for them to live. They get habitat management, and they get laws that say you can't just kill them whenever and wherever you want. That is the purpose of classifying a species as an endangered species. Now the question is, why would you do that? And the reason is we're actually very close to losing many of the populations of eastern diamondback rattlesnakes. In Mississippi, they're very pocketed. They have all these little pockets, and those pockets are slowly closing in and disappearing as people clear land and kill them. This area was actually very recently burned and managed to protect and to help the habitat for these snakes in particular. Now the management for diamondbacks is actually very easy because the management for diamondbacks is the same management for other species. Tortoises, black pine snakes, even woodpeckers, weirdly enough, they have the same management protocol. The only difference is you're now adding extra funding to the habitat, research, and preservation of the snake itself. Now what about public opinion in this certain scenario? A lot of people don't like these snakes, a lot of people kill these snakes, and that's why I believe that privatized protection of this animal is very important when it comes to classifying that. So having spaces that not necessarily everybody can go to unless they genuinely do want to enjoy the species, having places that are set apart for the snake. Once again, I'm not advocating for people to leave these in their backyard. I'm not advocating for people to live alongside these snakes like I do for other species, like gopher tortoises and birds, all those species we can live alongside if we manage them properly. I'm not necessarily asking for that with the diamondback. I'm mostly asking that this species in particular have its own space to where we can enjoy them, come out here and see them, and have them be a part of a balanced and proper ecosystem. We don't know what the removal of the diamondback rattlesnake implements for this entire habitat. Perhaps the species that they eat, like rabbits and rats, will overrun it, ruin other vegetation sites for other animals, maybe mess things up for gopher tortoises. We don't know exactly what that looks like, but we know that it doesn't look good based on some of these other areas that don't have diamondbacks. And that is the exact reasoning why I think the diamondback rattlesnake should be afforded protection at the very least in Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and both the Carolinas, at the very least, if not the entirety of their range. An absolutely gorgeous species. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to check out the last time we found one of these snakes in Mississippi, and I will see you guys next time. All right, we're gonna go ahead and let this girl back down her burrow. That is insane. Now it's time to go back down your burrow. Look at you, insane. Boo boo.